people suspected of domestic violence could be banned from their own homes for up to a month, even if there's not enough evidence to charge them. The government is planning to give police power to stop them having any contact with their alleged victim for 48 hours. Courts would then be able to extend the order for up to 28 days. A pilot scheme will start next summer. The police and other agencies will be in touch with that victim daily if necessary, making sure she's safe and well. So this legislation has teeth. It will enable the police to make arrests for people who act in breach of these orders and, and go back to the address, possibly causing more risk and more abuse. Well, we need to look at a therapeutic approach to domestic violence because it's not what we generally think, which is patriarchy, what all men do to all women. The majority of men do not lift a finger to women. What this is, it's a learned pattern of childhood. If you're born and raised in a violent family, this is how you know to behave, whether it's boys or so girls. So the suggestions that one in four women at some times in some time in their life will be a victim of domestic violence, you don't you don't what Theresa May is not saying to that. is one in four will women and one in six men. These mm -hmm. are figures. Two women die every week. So they need to be separated for both one woman, parties. One man dies. Well, the, the, what we need to do is to come into the home where there is domestic violence with a therapeutic approach to both sides because you know you all weep over baby P but when he grows up to be a monster you're going to hate him. But in the first instance both sides need to be separated. But throwing him out of the house for 48 hours doesn't help anything because half the time he's going to be innocent and it just makes the condition worse. So what should happen? Where there's suspected domestic violence the police should be involved and the next day the matter should be taken up with the refugees and with the, uh, with the social services and, the, and other people involved. So if there We're has trained. been domestic violence, you think that the police shouldn't act until the, ne the next day? I think if they can see evidence of domestic violence, they act immediately. But under this new rule, there's no need for evidence. Uh, it's not a matter of not having any evidence. It's a matter of not having ev any evidence that could be taken to court. Well, if there's if, if evidence that can be taken to court, the scratches, but if they, bruises... So you're saying if there is evidence that, they can be, that there has been some sort of domestic violence, even if it's not enough for a prosecution, they should or shouldn't be separated? If there's any evidence, they should be separated. Mm -hmm. But the majority of what happens is there is no evidence. It's just simply on the say-so of the person making the call, which is always, virtually always, women. Mm. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you for your input and expertise. So, as we were saying, 40 years since you opened that first refuge. Yes. And just remind us, just before I let you go, sorry, just remind us what happened. You had to leave the country for quite a long time, didn't you? Well, because what I'm saying now, I, there were huge pickets against me. And I was threatened, yes, for daring. This is a million dollar industry, domestic violence. And the women who control it are not about to let any kind of evidence in that's going to take away the money. What do you mean by that? They're not going to share the money. With anybody. But why do you describe it as a million dollar industry? Because it is. It's, uh, you know, In what the, way? the National Federation of Women's Aid gets something like 12 million from the government, let alone all the rest of it. It's so you're saying they're manipulating the government? Yeah, and what continue. they always have. This was, this was hijacked in 1974. And what I'd said from the very beginning, which is that it isn't a gender issue, it's an issue of learned pattern of behavior in childhood, was actually superseded by a very highly efficient machine called the feminist movement which simply claimed it's what all men do to all women. So you're suggesting that generally women are manipulating the system in order Yeah, because everybody knows, and the figures have been there for years, the worst violence is between two women. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, Aaron Fizzy. Thank you.